What up, Facebook land? It's been a long time since we've chatted, I feel like. I don't know that I've come live on Facebook for a very long time, which has been intentional. Um, I was kind of taking a little bit of a Facebook hiatus uh, for several months and for several reasons, but I'm back. And I had some thoughts this morning, and I thought I would share them because I was talking to a friend recently about a similar topic. And I'm like, you know what? I bet there's people who could benefit from some of these thoughts. So I'm just going to share. I'll try not to ramble too long. But uh, life, business, family, uh, all this good stuff. Uh, we live in an industry or we work in an industry where we're constantly being challenged and encouraged to dream big. And that's a great thing. Uh, I feel like I'm 40 years old, and as a kid, you know, you're taught to dream and, and that you could do anything. You know, you can reach for the stars and land on the moon, you know, that kind of stuff. And then somewhere around junior high, high school, that gets beat out of you. And definitely by the time you're an adult, you forget that, uh, to dream and, and think big. And then we found ourselves around a circle of people who encouraged us to dream big all, all over again. And that was exciting. Uh, and it was fresh and it was renewed and it kind of like it um, it reconnected you with like your core when you were younger and you had all these visions and dreams. And I think that's a wonderful thing. But I think what can happen with dreaming big is we can become overwhelmed. And I think what I've seen happen, uh, we've been in our industry now since 2011, it's 2007 years. In seven years, I've seen a lot of people come in. I've seen a lot of excitement happen. I've seen a lot of big, hairy, audacious dreams that are so amazing and exciting. But I've also seen a ton of burnout. And I've seen a ton of people give up. And I've seen a ton of people turn away and go back to being that defeated, overwhelmed, busy human being that we all are in some capacity. And I think there's a danger there that nobody likes to talk about. The danger of dreaming big. See, we talk about uh, all these exciting things that we can do and we can achieve. And specific to our business and industry, people come in and they see the, the massive amount of success that people have had or uh, the achievement that people have had. They're like, man, I want to I, I do that. I want to be that. I want to become that. And I think that's powerful. I think it's it's important to... to the, to, to find people who challenge us and stretch us. And, you know, I, we, Lori and I have always said, uh, it's okay to be a copycat as long as you're copying the right cat. But I think there's dangers in that, right? So, like, when we set our goals so high, when we're following people um, that are, are, like, at the peak of their game, you know? If I, if I want to be a mu musician and I'm constantly comparing myself to Bruno Mars as my standard, or if I want to be a, an athlete, you know, I want to play baseball, and I'm like, you know, if I'm comparing myself to Mike Trout, you know, or I'm a basketball guy. I'm comparing myself to King James. You know what I'm saying? Um, those are dream. Those are big visions. Those are big goals. But they can also be defeating. They can be overwhelming. I think it takes a really mentally challenged, a mentally strong human being to dream big and to stay focused on that big vision. In fact, what I would encourage people to do instead of or in conjunction with dreaming big is to narrow it down. So I think what happens here is here's my thought, and I'll try to I'll try to summarize this quicker. People dream big, and they get in for they 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 start to uh, they start to go after their their these achievements, these tasks, these dreams because they have these big visions. And what happens is they start out. It's like I, 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 I envision, I see this mountain, and I want to be on the top of that mountain. And I envision myself, and I'm encouraged to, the people, I find myself around people who are encouraging me that you can do it. You can be at the top of your game. You can be at the top of that mountain. And I set out, and I'm looking right here, and I'm going to go to the top of that mountain. That's where I'm going to be. I know I can do it. I know I have it in me. And I start out, and I'm like, oh, I start working, and I start climbing, and I realize I'm looking right here. I'm looking right here, and I, I can't get there. That, that mountain's high. There's no way I can get up there. And all the while, I'm focused right here, and I'm never looking right here at the ground in front of me. I'm never looking at the first step, the second step, the third step. I'm looking at the mountain, and I've never even looked at the rock in front of me. Right? So dreaming big is great. To cast a vision is great. But when all we're focused on is this notion of these big dreams and that you can do anything... We miss the rock right in front of us, the first step that we have to take to get there. 
And so here's my challenge for the day. Here's my thought. What if we all forgot the big vision for a moment and focused solely on winning the day? Just the day. Today is the day I want to win. Whether it's waking up at the right time or making my kids breakfast or or encouraging my children as they walk out the door or saying something to my wife that's going to matter today or starting my day off with a quiet time or whatever is your jam, whatever is your goal, whatever is your mountain. What if we just started with the day instead of the big vision? Because I think people become defeated by staring at the mountain. And so if we just took it one step, one rock, one day at a time, what if we just focused on winning the day? Just win today. I feel like so many people are defeated and overwhelmed and busy and lost. They're just lost because they're just completely and utterly overwhelmed. What if we just pulled all that back for a minute and said, you know what? Time out. Let's just win today. Forget tomorrow. We'll figure tomorrow out when tomorrow gets here. The Bible says, you know, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow has enough worries of its own. What if we just figured out how to win today? And each day, that's how we took it. One step at a time. One day at a time. Today, I'm going to win today. I'm not going to worry about all the things that I have to do this week. I'm not going to worry about all the tasks that I have to accomplish to achieve that crazy big goal that I have, which is great. But I start out for this crazy big goal and I become defeated right away and I give up. And I quit. That's what happens to people. We get these big visions, big dreams, big notions, and they're really, really ridiculously hard. And I quit. I give up. I quit. So instead of quitting, instead of focusing so high in the sky, what if we balance that out with the notion of let's dream big and work small? Let's dream big, but work small. I'm only going to focus on today because I can't control tomorrow. I certainly can't control Friday. Let's control today. I have certain things that I want to accomplish. I have certain things that I want to do. I have certain things that are important to me to this bigger goal. But I just want to win today. I just want to win today. And if I don't win today, let's win tomorrow. How about that for a crazy notion? So instead of giving up and turning around and walking away from the mountain, I can say here's three or four boulders that I have to cross today. And if I can cross these three or four boulders, it's like this. When, um, when, we were, when we were younger, we used to go skiing. Lori and I used to go skiing every single year. We'd take a big ski trip. And quite frankly, we were pretty decent skiers. There was no place on any mountain that we'd been in Colorado that we wouldn't go ski. We could ski anywhere. And we'd take new skiers out with us all the time. And we would get up, you know, we'd get up on the, on the lift and go to the top of the mountain. You stand up there and you look down and you're like, holy buckets. I can't ski down this double black diamond. There's absolutely no way I can get down this. And what we always would challenge people to do is when you get up at the top of the mountain, don't look all the way down the mountain. That's where you want to be. That's your big vision, right? But don't look all the way down there. Look 20 yards over there. Can you ski 20 yards over there? Yep. Then ski 20 yards over there and stop. And then look over there. Look 20 yards down over there. Can you ski 20 yards down over there? I bet you can. Go over there. So when we break it down into little pieces... Before you know it, you're all the way down that double black diamond mountain. And that's how we would, that's how we taught our kids to ski. That's how we would teach other people. Look, don't be afraid of that crazy mountain. You get up there and it's overwhelming and fear can take over and you're like, forget it. I'm going down somewhere else. I'm riding back down. No, you're not. 20 yards, 20 yards, 20 yards, 20 yards, 20 yards. Before you know it, you're all the way down the mountain. This is no different. Let's win the day. Win the 20 yards at a time. Win the few boulders to climb the mountain. Forget the mountain for a minute. The dreaming big is dangerously overwhelming and it causes people to be consumed by fear and it causes people to quit. Dream big for a moment and then focus on winning the day. That's my challenge today. I hope that helped. Um, I know for me, I've, I've been talking to some people and I think that, I think that's what we're missing. We're missing the focus on the small things. Let's win the small victories. Um, you know, it's like win the victory to win the war. Win the, win the fight, to win, win the small battles to win the, 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 the big war. The war's in our head. The war's in our heart. We see these big goals, these big, hairy, audacious, overwhelming goals, and we are gripped by fear, and we, we give up. We just turn away and we give up. And instead, what we need to do is set the bar up there and then forget it. That's where we want to be. That's the end goal. Now, here is my path. My path is there. My path is there. My path is there. My path is these three boulders today. I want to win today because long term, I want to achieve that. Don't give up on that. Win this. Win what's right here in front of you. 
I think that's the missing focus. We're too focused on this giant pie in the sky, and we got to get zeroed in what's right in front of us, where we're standing today. Be present where you're at. Slow down. Focus. Don't give up. When you focus on winning the day, that's a manageable task. Climbing that climbing Mount Everest is a manageable task in stations. Even if you researched how they climb those mountains, they do it by base camp, by base camp, by base. They're stations. They don't go climb the mountain. That's how we ought to live our life. We've got to focus on winning the day. I hope that helps somebody. Now i got to remember how to uh, finish my thing out. See you guys.